best of myself. Hey, what's up, Line Dance family and friends? It's Papa Fatal, aka Carlos K. I'm coming at you this time with a little short, brief instructional for summer night cha cha. We did it in our class, we did it at a big birthday party, and the Line Dance family loved it so much, they said, you know what, we should learn that dance because it's a lot of fun. Got a few little turns that may kind of get you lost a little bit, but it is a fun dance. So I'm going to try to bring that to you with the common denominator, common denominator breakdown so you can get it. So, without further ado, let's do it. Okay, I'm going to bring you the breakdown, turn around, line dance, walk through, instructional y'all know what i mean but what we're going to do is turn my back to you so that you can actually follow me a little easier without trying to do that mirror effect twisting around in your brain so when i move right you should move right when i move left you should be moving left when i move up you should move up when i move back you should move what back <laughs> i'm just playing with y'all but anyway guys this is the walkthrough instructional and i hope you can follow it pretty easy I'm going to try to break it down, like I said, to the common denominator, meaning I'm going to break it down into fours, possibly. And I'm going to break it down into the eights, of course, the eight count line dance uh, technology that we use or methodology which we use to kind of get people on track with where their feet are at certain counts in the dance. So what we're going to do is start out with that first. I think I'm going to start out with that first eight count. That first eight count is going to be like a step together, shuffle right, step together, shuffle left. They call it a James Brown, Michael Jackson, and that's mostly used in the R&B world, of course, the R&B line dance world. Uh, I don't know if it's an official name, but that's what we use in the R&B line dance world. So the first eight count, five, six, seven, on the right, step together with the triple step. Step left together with the triple step. Get it? Good. Too easy, right? You know that move. We do it so much in so many line dances. We get to do it with a blindfold or with our eyes closed. So let's add the counts in there. Five, six, seven. Here we go. One, two, three, and four. Five, six, seven, and eight. There's your first eight count. I know y'all got it. Let's move on. So once we hit that eight count, we're going to do a, a rock recover with the right foot because our weight should be on the left. So we're going to go one, two, which is a rock recovery. So let's go through the move. Let's go through the eight count, and then we'll break it down. Then we'll add the part one and part two together. So five, six, seven, rock recover, rock recover, cha-cha-cha, cha-cha-cha, and right, left. That's part two, eight counts. Let's do the counts with it. Five, six, seven, here we go. One, two two, three and four, five and six, seven, eight. And as y'all know, I am emphasizing the dance moves. You don't have to do all that seven, eight and stomping. It's just so you can see my foot, so you can learn the mechanics of the dance first. Then you can water it down, smooth it off, add your flavor and, fl and flair to it, or finesse, it becomes you and you become it, okay? So, let's take it from the top to do the first 16 counts. Five, six, seven. Here we go. Right step together. Triple step. Step left together. A triple step. Rock forward. Recover. Cha cha cha. Cha 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 with the right left. That's eight counts. Now, let's do the counts. Five, six, seven. Here we go. One, two, three, and four. Five, six, seven, and eight. One, two, three, and four. Five, and six, seven, eight. There it is. That's your first 16. We are halfway through the dance, ladies and gentlemen. So, now, part three gets a little bit mm, interesting. I don't know if you want to call it intermediate. It may be basic beginner plus plus. <laughs> But anyway, it does move into some steps that you may not be used to doing, some turns and lifts that you may not be used to. So give yourself some room because we got to do a shuffle to that right on this part. I'm going to call it part three. Part three is going to be a shuffle to the right, 
Then we're going to do a stomp and lift on the left. Then we're going to take that left foot down with a triple step, cha-cha again. Rock recover in the eight count. So I'm going to take you to the four just so you can see the actual mechanics of the move. Five, six, shuffle to your right. One and two, turn three, lift four. Y'all see, I lifted on four. I'm going to bring this four back down with a triple step. Five and six. Now I'm going to wait. It's on my left. I'm going to end it with a rock recover seven, eight. Seven, recover eight. Okay? And that's part three, guys. That is part three. I know I'm kind of hidden behind my, my uh, palm tree. Yeah, I'm kind of hidden behind a palm tree, guys. I'm just playing with y'all. <laughs> y'all know Papa Fader can get kind of crazy, crazy. But anyway... I just noticed that I look back and look like I'm behind the palm tree when I'm trying to take, and you're probably not seeing my foot movement, but it's a rock recover, guys, that gives you your eight. I'm going to try not to get so far out of focus or out of the frame so you can see my footwork. But most of you that know how to do a rock recover, you know I'm doing a right rock up, and I'm going to recover back on the left. That's my seven, eight. So let's put those two parts together, and I'll try not to get too far out of the frame on my right side if I can help it. Okay, so from the top, five, six, seven, here we go. We're going to step together, triple step, step left together, triple step. We're going to rock, recover, cha-cha-cha, cha-cha-cha with the right, left. That's my first 16. Now let's go into part three, five, six. Let me move over so, so I can try to stay in the frame. Five, six, seven, here we go. One and two, three. Four, five, and six, seven, eight. That's part three. Hopefully you can see me a little clearer. I'm not hidden behind the palm tree. Okay, so that's my seven, eight. Now, in going to part four, I'm just going to go ahead and complete part four, guys, because it's so easy peasy now. We're going to do a cha-cha turn to the right. And I say cha-cha turn because we're going to go, when we did the rock recover, we're going to say cha-cha-cha. Kick, hook, Cha-cha-cha, step, half, end of the dance. But sometimes when you start at the tail end or in the middle, it kind of confuses you of how to merge the moves together. So let's take it from the shuffle here and go right into part four so you can see how smoothly you have to get that transition in order to get that move correct to end up on the right beat with the music, okay? Even though we don't have music, we still got to end up on that correct count. So we're going to shuffle to the right and go transition and merge right into part four. Five, six, seven. Here we go. One and two, three, four. Five and six, seven, eight. One and two, three, four. Cha, cha, cha. Which is five and six. Seven, pivot, eight. End of the dance. And we start back over on this wall. This dance is going clockwise. Every time we hit that quarter wall, we start over again and we're going in a clockwise position. Clockwise meaning if you're looking at the clock on the wall, say this, say this is my clock. The clock has 12, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. We're going this way, in that direction. And that's what it means when they say clockwise, guys. You're going in the direction that the clock moves normally. If they say counterclockwise, it means you're going to go reverse the way the arms are moving on the clock. So that's back in the analog days. Most of you may not be, I guess, well, I guess you are young enough. I say young enough, but you know, uh, you're not uh, seasoned. Some are not seasoned enough to know that back in the day, it was analog clocks, you know, the clock with a face on it. But now everything is so digital, you know, all we got to do is look at numbers. We don't have to know nothing about arms and hands on the clock moving. But anyway, guys, sometimes y'all know I get off, get on a little soapbox just to give you a little sidebar of information but anyway just so you can understand some of the terminology that we be talking when we up here instructing and you may say what is he talking about counterclockwise clockwise but that's what it means guys but anyway let's take it from the top all the way with the counts so you can kind of get a feel and then we'll kind of end this little walk through and get into some music so you can get a little bit of a feel for what it looks like with the music so from the top five six seven here we go step right together with the triple step step left Together with the triple step, we're going to rock, recover with a cha-cha-cha, cha-cha-cha with the right, left. Shuffle to the right with a stomp, lift. Triple step and rock, recover. 
shot, shot, turn with a kick, hook, shot, shot here, and step, pivot, left. Meaning my left shoulder is going to the left. If I was driving, I'd be turning left. I turn the steering wheel to the left. I use that analogy sometimes in my class when you make a notable turn, right turn versus left turn. Everybody knows how to drive. Well, I shouldn't say everybody, but mostly a good majority of people know how to drive. So if you got a steering wheel, if I'm going, turning to the right, I got to turn that steering wheel to the right. That's a right turn in line dancing. If I need a left turn, I'm going to take a turn, turn the steering wheel to the left. That's a left turn. So some people use the shoulder analogy, but I like to use the steering wheel because everybody, mostly everybody knows how to drive because you got your hands on the wheel, right turn, turn this way, left turn, turn that way, okay? So anyway, just a little sidebar note for you. Okay, so let's now take it from, take it from the top with the counts because the counts do help you know foot placement. Five, six, seven, here we go. One, two, three, and four. Five, six, seven, and eight. One, two, three, and four. Five, then six, seven, eight. One and two, three, four. Five and six, rock seven, eight. One and two, three, four. Five and six, turn seven, eight. End of the dance. Starts over on the next wall, going clockwise. Okay, ladies and gentlemen, that is it. That's enough for you to actually get the actual mechanics of the moves of the dance, summer night cha-cha. Because all you got to do is, of course, rewind it, slow it down, pause it until you get it. I try to break it down to the common denominator for you because it is an easy-peasy dance, but if you're not used to turns and lifts and kicks and hooks, it can get a little difficult. But again, you saw me doing emphasize lifting higher than necessary. Even that kick don't have to be that high or that hook don't have to be that high. It can be low and to the side. Again, you know what your body can and cannot do, so judge yourself accordingly. Govern yourself accordingly, and you'll be all right. Let's get some music now, guys, to get a feel of what it feels like with the movement and flow of the music. Summer night, cha-cha. Let's do it. Summer night cha-cha. 